important that we don't just focus on me and my prayer, but it's more important that we reach back and grab somebody else. The truth is, success is nothing. I can't look back and see somebody benefiting from the trail I blaze. And all of us, not just to reach a certain political status or monetary status. My goal is when I leave, I'm still living because there's somebody who's saying, I'm so glad I met him or I met her. Here's just what happens. Life just happens. Sometimes life happens. Unfortunately, somebody's going to get a divorce. It happens. It's not nice. It's never easy, but getting to an accident is going to happen. Somebody's kids going to make a bad choice. Somebody's going to go to the doctor and get a bad report. It, it's life happens. And when life happens, who are they going to turn to? Who are they going to turn to when their brother, mother, and father go to jail? Who are they going to turn to? Here's what I want to suggest. Frequent positive affirmations make life's untimely withdrawals manageable. Frequent positive deposits makes life untimely withdrawals manageable because from time to time life will make a couple of months ago and it said that in any given 10 year period of time 80 percent of the population will experience yes, it comes back to say positive adult interactions it is without question that we have to get positive adult interactions into the lives of all of our children without question and he didn't even think he could be a world champion but nikki said rocky you can be a world champion. And Rocky was working out, he was gonna jump over, he was jumping over, and Mickey would just talk to him, said, Rocky, you gotta stick and move, you gotta stick and move, you gotta jab, you gotta do this and do that. And he said, if you ever get knocked down, you gotta get back up. He said, do you hear me, Rocky? If you ever get knocked down, you gotta get back up, because Mickey loves you. Well, if you follow the Rocky sequel, you know Mickey died. But over in Rocky Five, you'll see Rocky about to have a street fight with Tommy Gunn. You guys remember Tommy Gunn, right? The young kid, big kid, supposed to be the next Rocky. Well, Tommy Gunn and Rocky got into a street fight. And if you saw the movie, you'll know that Tommy Gunn hit him with a right. And everybody thought the fight was over. Rocky was spent, his face was bloody and battered. He had no more energy left. The crowd was dispersing. Tommy was getting back to the limousine. But while Rocky was laying on the ground, the video flashed and you heard Mickey's voice. And Rocky remembered that Mickey said, if you ever get knocked down, get back up because Mickey loves you. I don't know where he got the energy from because he obviously didn't have the energy before he remembered what Mickey said. But after he remembered what Mickey said, Rocky pulled himself up and he said, Tommy, let's go one more round. And because of what Mickey said years ago, Rocky was able to overcome this enemy that was confronting him now. Dare I say, something that you are telling your daughter right now will either lead to her success or her failure later on in life. The words that we say, our words are like bricks. And bricks can either build up or break down. I want to challenge you to let your bricks be used to build. Our influence will last a lot longer than our presence. And that is why it is so important for us to use our words only for good. The